Hello, this is Alec Kerr, the film critic for the Conway Daily Sun. And uh, I know I'm a little bit late with this, but uh, somebody uh, requested that I do a review of the 100th episode of Late Night with Jimmy Fallon, having previously reviewed the first episode and the first month. Now, based on the comments I received on those videos, people really seem to hate Jimmy Fallon, or at least they're the most vocal people. And they really hate him. I mean, they just... Well, I guess that's just the nature of uh, YouTube. You just get a lot of people that are just vulgar, crass, and just mean-spirited. Um, but I, I know, you know, I'll probably get, you know, flamed for saying this again, but I like the show, and I like Jimmy Fallon, and yes, he's awkward, and yes, he's a little bit silly and goofy, and but that's Jimmy Fallon, and... You know, I like it, and I'm not gonna say it's, I'm not gonna even I'm not even saying it's the the greatest talk show on TV. It isn't, but I enjoy it, and uh, I like his his bits, even though some of them are really pretty stupid. Uh, the the little game shows he does, uh, you know, Lick It for Ten. I wasn't a big fan of Lick It for Ten, but I'm 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 starting to warm up to it a little bit, and uh, the the game shows uh, like uh, the Bing It game show and. Uh, the, the carpet sample game show. I mean, they're completely stupid, but I don't know that, you know, on that level, they're kind of entertaining. Actually, of all those uh, fake game shows, the uh, cell phone shootout is kind of, uh, I think is pretty, pretty good. Um, but the comic uh, device that he, that he started doing, uh, and he did it on the first, I believe the second time on the hundredth episode uh, of uh, writing out his thank you letters, uh, I think it's pretty funny, and I, I, it really is just an excuse to do kind of weekend update style jokes that didn't fit into the monologue. And one that was on the 100th episode that I absolutely loved was, uh, thank you Miley Cyrus for being 16 and dressing like a stripper at the Teen Choice Awards. If you really want to piss your father off, cut off his allowance. And I thought that was just a great joke, and I got a big laugh out of me. And another great uh, moment on the 100th episode uh, was uh, Jimmy Fallon saying, oh, I had a friend who bet me $100 that I wouldn't make it to the 100th episode. I, I bet I'll never see that money. And then Robert De Niro walks out and slams 100 on the desk and then just walks out. Doesn't say a word. And that was a pretty great moment. Um, the rest of the episode was just, you know, you're pretty much your standard episode. And, you know, if you like it, then you probably enjoyed it. Otherwise, you probably didn't. Um, but that really, that's what I think it comes down to. If you, if you like Jimmy Fallon, then you like the show. And, you know, a lot of people do seem to think that he's completely awful and the show is a complete bomb. Um, and if that's the case, then you don't have to watch it. Um, I think there are plenty of people who, who do enjoy the show. I really loved uh, Seventh Floor West. I thought that was absolutely fantastic. And I hope they bring it back for a second season um, because they kind of just had like a little... They called it a season. Um, so they had like a series of little mini episodes every Monday on, uh, on the show. And so hopefully they make another little mini series because uh, I thought it was just a really on target satire of uh, shows like The Hills and such. Um, so really, I know that wasn't really a, a review of the the hundredth episode, more kind of the first hundred. Um, but I, I like the show, and I you know, and I still liked it. I, I liked it, and I still like the show. Anyway, um, this is Alec, and keep watching.